Spain and Italy being the only ones to actually take anything. Actually, I stand corrected. Look at this. A French colony. French East Africa. Is that the first colony? That's... Yeah, that is. Because this is controlled by Spain itself. There's only four provinces. Ni Nigeria is... Uh, they are getting big. Protestant will ex is going to expand. The, all the nations unifying their religion. I like how it looks once they actually get all their unified religion in. I just think the map, it looks very clean how the borders, you can see it through the religion. Oh, there's one that switched back. I'll have to fix that later. Said it sometimes happens despite the fact that I should have it turned off, but I just have to fix it in between uh, sessions. So South Africa is expanding north. Ethiopia hasn't done anything, my pig, so I don't know about that. Nigeria is doing a lot better than I thought they took out Niger, and then they've expanded north through Algeria as well. Spain's going to take even more land through here. But they do have some separatists. Italy is getting the coastline, now at war with Tunis. So we got definitely the colonial powers coming back. If we look at the great powers of the world, we're looking at China, the United States, India, Japan, Germany, Russia, Brazil, France. So this is a pretty normal, normal great power list. We will see how that is by the end. China looks like it's having a little bit of rebel problem, but it's not terrible. I've seen way worse for them. India looks pretty stable, and they did full annex Sri Lanka. Oops. We got a Chad, Chadian Libyan war. Still that German-Dutch war. Italy versus Tunis, Mozambique versus Zimbabwe, Nigeria versus Air, which that's... Nigeria is going to definitely win that one. Saudi Arabia versus Iraq. They did take Kuwait. And there they go. They've taken... They almost took Baghdad. They did not. But now they have even more access to the Persian Gulf. They have to share a border now with Iran. I'm sure that wouldn't cause any tensions in real life. They actually managed... They switched to secular. Oh. They switched off. The AI never does that. Sunni. That's normal. Togo versus Benin. Spain versus Algeria. Man, Algeria is going to die. How do you know? Yeah, they ain't, they're not going to live through this. No way. Well, they might have like a couple provinces. I would not put my hopes up for that, though. Not even a little bit. Why are. Italian troops just sitting in Jordan. Well, Israel did take Lebanon. Full annex Lebanon. The Jewish faith may be expanding. This was the only Catholic nation in the Middle East. And, uh, not anymore. Cyprus. You mean Egypt? And Crete. Huh. I didn't notice that either. Man, I am missing some things. This is a... How did they do this? 
Greece, what did you do? I played Greece an extent. Man, Greece is so broke. Guess they are in real life too, aren't they? Well, will Croatia be reforming Yugoslavia? Or attempting to, potentially? Cossacks and rebels and Protestant zealots. Anything big? No. So I'll just go around and look at what everyone's doing. Oh, Malaysia actually won their war against Indonesia. Well, that is unfortunate for Indonesia. I thought they'd win, but turns out it's not sending your troops to the battlefield will cause you to lose. Who knew? And they kind of, they lost a lot. Philippines, they're vibing. Japan is doing Japanese things and just sitting as well. China is dealing with its rebels like it does every time. Better than it usually does, to be fair. Oh, Italy full annexed. Tunisia. Well. Could have been worse. No, it really couldn't have. Well, Italy is definitely making a colonial empire through Africa once again. They're trying to reform their World War II borders. Spain is just taking everything. They're like, all of Africa belongs to me. So does Nigeria at the same time. They're just going everywhere. Maybe should have picked them. They're quite powerful right now. But Ethiopia, come on. You can do something. France has got its colony in Tanzania. Catholic provinces. I am all fine with that. We'll see how that, if they can hold that by the end of the game. It depends, I guess, if other European nations like them or not. Mexico, though, is still vibing. Now there's no wars. Well, Saudi Arabia versus Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Somalia. Oh, Saudi Arabia could take win that war. Hungary versus Serbia, though. I'm actually more interested in that. Serbia's going to lose. Yeah, most certainly. Because Croatia did indeed full annex Bosnia. So S Croatia is attempting to reform Yugoslavia at the rate it's looking like. We'll see if Hungary takes any of this land. A Chinese Indian War. Oh. I briefly saw that. And then, uh, yeah, this is a big one. Here's the big one. India and Vietnam and Nepal versus China. I feel like China's at a dis they, are, they have rebel problems, and now India is pushing into them, and Nepal. Nepal should get some land. That'd be fun. Vietnam should get some land. They want a lot of it. Oh, they want a lot. Oh, there the Viet Vietnamese troops are now. Oh, they're going back. Sweden. S a Danish secession war. Sweden versus Norway, Denmark, Finland, Poland, Austria, and Latvia. Something tells me Sweden is about to lose that war.
No way they don't win this. Germany is vibing with rebels. But they're probably not even going to move to go take them out. Cologne will just break free. Bolivia and Brazil versus Chile, Ecuador, and Uruguay. That's a solid team right there. Brazil should carry, if I had to guess. They'll carry, yeah, they'll carry this. I'm just really curious about this Indian-Chinese war. I think India is going to win. Vietnam did take a province or siege one down. Or somebody seized one down. Dolly's gonna break free at this rate from China too. Depends, I guess, how long they've got. Holy, actually, Chinese. No, Indian troops will probably kill the rebels because they do that stuff. They kill their their a enemies, at, uh, rebels, while at war. It's sometimes the dumbest thing ever. Well, I guess it is Vietnam actually moving its troops around. Surprising. Well, f China. Yeah, China needs to figure this out. Oh, India switched back to secular too. I'll have to, yeah. I'll have to go through and fix it. I'll do it after this episode ends. Anything... Ukrainian conquest, oh, not quite as impressive. I thought that was, for some reason, Ukraine declared war on Russia. I was like, a bold move. No. They, uh, they're going to win this war. They just have to odd siege. Oh. That was expected. Well, Ukraine has access to the sea again. I don't know for how long until Russia decides to uh, ruin it for them. But it's they currently have it. Britain versus Ghana this time. So, I guess I'll, we'll see how that goes. Spain will full definitely, I think, take this province. Didn't they have... Didn't they have more... Oh... Hey, look, a Spanish colony. Spanish Mauritanus. Mauritania. That's always cool. I like the colony names. I just, I think they're, I mean, they're boring, but like, I, I just like colonies, I guess. French East Africa and Spanish Mauritania. Oh, here's more to Spanish Martania. This is just regular spade. For some reason, I felt like they had more land over here, but apparently not. Italy is doing pretty solid. Hungary and Serbia's war still going all right. Turkey now declared war on Armenia. Oh, don't, don't, don't do things that never happened. Man, Turkey and Armenia, a rivalry that dates back older than time. At least I feel like it does. Man, the uh, Tur Turkey's going to win, though. Definitely, Turkey will win this war. It's Armenia, Georgia, and... Huh. Palestine isn't guaranteed by anyone, are they? It doesn't look like it. Is Israel? Yeah, still guaranteed by the United States. Hmm. Well, 
Jewish faith has expanded ever so slightly. Iran's chilling. Turkey is definitely going to take some of this land. China's losing this war pretty badly and now has some pretty serious rebel problems. A 48, a 14, a 26. They got Vajrayana, Zealots. So they're not having a they're not having a good time. Beijing is even sieged out. Man, I am I don't know why I'm so tired. I'm yawning so much. I have to go to bed. Apparently. Six forty five at night's too late for me. United States, you doing anything? Allied to Canada? Because of course you are. They have nationalist con CBs against a bunch. Spread democracy against a bunch. They're guaranteeing Taiwan, Israel, and South Korea. Oh, that's right. North Korea, though, is guaranteed by the German. North Korea is not guaranteed. North Korea is guaranteed by China. I don't know. North Korea being guaranteed by Germany would make not a lot of sense. Oh, they became a tributary state. Hmm. South Korea just found it that much more difficult to actually take North Korea. I think I'll go until 2040 for this one. 10 years. There's really nothing going on, though. Like, man, they are... I mean, nothing going on, I say, as China and India are at war. But India's just... steamrolling them. Britain doing its weird change form of government where it doesn't actually take any land or in this case doesn't even send troops Ethiopia has decided that South Sudan is something that they are willing to fight come on Ethiopia there you go I want you to win you, you were my pick for Africa Israel just declared war on Palestine, though. So that is, a uh, That would cause issues in real life. That one would. For sure. This, these two are... Yeah, they're, they're just buddies with each other. Oh, here we go. Some actual things. Turkey versus Greece. Greece is bringing in a lot of allies, but it probably does not matter. Last time I've seen this war plenty of times too. Nine times out of ten, Greece gets full annexed. If it's not, if it's that one chance at time that they don't, they get left with like Naxos. So we'll see. I don't, I don't really expect. Yeah, Greece ain't gonna win the war. Even with all their allies, they're small people. Bos Bosnia, Bosnia, Croatia, Montenegro, Czechia, Moldova, Lithuania. It's like, uh, those aren't really showing fear. Brought Kenya and Albania versus North Macedonia and Malta. An Albanian jihad. That does not sound pleasant. 
Well, they'll probably full annex too. Well, it's almost 2040. Russia has decided that it just wants to chill ever since it lost that war to Azerbaijan, of all people. Granted, they did have an Iraq, uh, or Iran and Turkey on their side. Saudi Arabia, though, are probably going to take some land from Iran. Just uh, looks about that. Turkey. Syria and Italy versus Greece. Yeah, Greece is not not living. Unfortunately, Greece, your time on Earth is about to officially expire. And the Balkans are the biggest mess in all of Europe so far. The Ukrainian border isn't great. Turkey has decided that Azerbaijan or not Azerbaijan, Armenia and Georgia are better off being Turkish countries, which, hey, to each their own. Jesus. December, oh, India took a lot. They didn't give any land to Nepal, that's sad. Nepal deserved some, at least this one province. They really just Kash, Kasha, should, and Tayu Hun. Interesting. Well, that's about it for episode two, man. China got kind of messed up too after that war. Manchuko, Poryatia. I'm sure they'll get invaded again. Yeah, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today's episode as well. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for being a little bit tired. I don't know why I've just all of a sudden have no energy. But I'm going to go take a power nap and I'll possibly make another one right after that. And uh, see you on the next one. Great powers. China's still number one, despite losing that war to Russia or to to India, but they're pretty close. India, Japan, Germany, Russia, Brazil, and Saudi Arabia. France is no longer on here. I think Saudi Arabia kicked France off. So good job, Saudi Arabia. And I will see you all later.